Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So after posting yesterday that the latest beta channel insider preview build finally lets you customize the lock screen widgets, Phantom of Earth, once again over on X, has got the feature working using the third-party app VAF tool. And for what it's worth, I'll leave that previous video for the beta channel um, link down below in the end screen because today we're just going to have a kind of like a first glimpse and we're going to go through a couple of screen grabs that were uploaded to X by Phantom of Earth. Now, the main difference is, as mentioned, is unlike the current setup with your lock screen widgets on Windows 10 and Windows 11, you can't customize them. It's all or nothing. So if you choose weather, you get the, the full package. And yeah, we can see that with the new customization options, you are going to be able to, even on your lock screen, have an option to manage your widgets. And if you click on that manage widgets, it'll then take you directly over to your personalization lock screen page in the settings, which I think is a nice move. And yeah, you see, if we just zoom in a little bit, you'll see that you'll be able to turn your widgets off completely, which means it'll disable the feature. And if you turn it on, you can then customize your widgets. Because as mentioned, currently it's all or nothing. You choose whether you get the full package where, yeah, if you click on add widget, you can see you can add your weather, your sports. And if we head to the next image and screen grab, yeah, you can see what it'll look like when you click on add a widget. So you can add a countdown, focus session, sports, timer, traffic, watch list, weather. So, so when you click on that add widget, this is what's going to pop up. And this is very similar to what we get um, in the stable version with the widgets board when you want to add a widget. So obviously Microsoft's kind of making it, the look and feel, they're collating that to be very similar, which I think is great. Just bring in a bit of consistency. And you would then add the traffic widget. And if we head to the next screen grab, you can also add a countdown to your um, lock screen if that's a feature you would ever use. And just on a side note regarding countdown, I have posted a full video on how you can add the new countdown and timer widgets to your widget board in the stable version of um, Windows 11. And I'll also leave that linked down below and in the end screen. So I think this is a nice move. Lots of customization op options coming for the lock screen widgets, which has been a kind of bone of contention uh, since Microsoft introduced it both on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And I think there's a good chance that this will eventually make its way to stable, although it's in its early stages of development and hasn't rolled out to everyone currently in the beta channel. That's why it was enabled using the third-party App 5 tool. But I think there's a very good chance um, that this will make its way to the stable version eventually. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.